I recently bought and took a look at four books from the Rebirth from DC Comics. This one is my first one. It is The Wonder Woman, Volume 1, titled The Lies. It actually starts off showing how um, her powers came to be. It's really interesting. It shows a lot about Steve, and the difference is, unlike the movie and the original comic books from the 40s and up until the rebirth started, Etta Candy was Steve's secretary. Nothing more than that. She was just there. Now she's a, an African-American woman who runs the um, spy organization that Steve is working for, Diana. And it shows how great Diana is. And also, different things that happen to different people and how strong Steve is. So if you look at this, you can see the different forms. How they learn how to speak to one another. Different things like that. So it's a really cool book. The cover is done very nicely. As you can see. Definitely I recommend that book. The second book we're going to look at is the second book in the series, which is called Year One. This is written by everybody that the first book was written by. Greg Rucka, again, who does a great job with Wonder Woman. This goes more into her origin and how Steve crashes on the island and how she becomes Wonder Woman. It's more kind of what they were doing with the movie they had out. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it. But this is the basis that the movies put on. And, you know, that's everything. How she meets Barbara Minerva, who is, we know is the cheetah. And how Wonder Woman tries to fit into today's society, which takes a lot. So, by the use of her lasso, she is able to communicate with Steve, Barbara Minerva, and Etta Candy. Um... This is a good book. It was something I couldn't put down. I kept, after I finally, I had a break, could read it. I kept coming back to it. I couldn't stop. So this was a great book to read. The cover art is amazing, as usual. So this is the cover art. I got these both on Amazon. One of them was $6. The other one was about five fifty. Not bad. This is Raven. It's Rebirth. And this is the one done by Marv Wolfman. Famous for the Teen Titan comics of the 80s, 90s. And this talks about how Raven ends up living with her aunt. Which I didn't even know her mother had a sister. And how she's trying to conceal her powers while in school. She's 17. And how she has to save the city from some terrible... Um, uh, terrible black monster that comes into the city that also takes her cousin she has to get her cousin back I recommend this highly because Marv Wolfman is an amazing writer and just his attitude on Raven is amazing and the last book I bought is the Aquaman Reaper now Aquaman I know everybody not a lot of people like him I think he's an amazing superhero the take that Dan Abernett does on this is just outstanding. It takes him to a new level. And especially the part where Mira decks Superman and he goes flying. That's pretty cool. Even though I'm not a big fan of Mira, I do love Aquaman. I'm a huge fan of his. And the book in here is just perfect. The illustrations are out of this world. You have you know, his the whole fight he has against the United States government, you know, how his brother and Black Manta try to ruin everything, it's just incredible. So this book was about seven bucks, it's not so bad if you get it on Amazon, that one. So those are the books, I highly recommend each and every one of them. Take a closer look, the Rebirth series is worth a look. So, enjoy. Enjoy.